Almost seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Today's video will be talking about my favorite anti-aging skincare products that contain niacinamide. But first, let's go over the benefits of niacinamide for skincare. Niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3, and you may be thinking, oh, is it the same as niacin, which is a supplement form of vitamin B3? And it is different. You just want to sit back and grab yourself a coffee or a tea while you listen to these benefits because there are so many. When it comes to niacinamide, there's a reason why it's found in many skincare products and why why many standalone serums exist. Now typically you will find niacinamide formulated in acne skincare products and that's because niacinamide is a great anti-inflammatory. I certainly have really reaped the benefits of niacinamide in my skincare routines because I have inflammatory skin. My skin is combination but also sensitive prone and rosacea prone. With my rosacea I will have inflammatory breakouts and I also deal with adult acne. Lucky me. So not only is niacinamide anti-inflammatory, it also helps to control oil production in the skin, which again, just makes it very suitable for oily and acne prone skin. I find for my combination skin, even if I apply niacinamide products only to the T-zone of my face, I see a really big difference in its mattifying effect and helping to control the sebum production in that area for me. And despite what skincare brands might like to market to you, you can actually reduce the size of your pores, but you can blur the skin so that it reduces the appearance of your pores. How niacinamide helps in that area is it keeps your skin smooth and moisturized, sort of giving that natural reduction in pore size over time. The other big benefit for niacinamide and what I've really seen in my own experience is it helps with your skin's barrier and if you follow my channel at all or any of my other socials on Instagram or TikTok you know that preserving my skin barrier is really key. Niacinamide will help your skin to retain moisture which again leads to helpful anti-aging benefits because it's really plumping and hydrating the look of your skin which in turn smooths out the look of your fine lines and wrinkles. Prioritizing the skin barrier just does so many great things for your overall skin health and I believe really helps you to age well. Niacinamide is also known to build keratin and you may think of keratin more in terms of your hair but it's actually really good for the skin as well and can increase the firmness of your skin. And one of the main reasons I love niacinamide on top of all those other benefits is because it can help reduce redness in the skin. This is really beneficial for me and my rosacea. You can see that I always have some element of rosacea on my cheeks. Some days it's just worse than others and I find niacinamide helps to really calm and soothe and control that redness along with all the other benefits I've just discussed. Because it's anti-inflammatory, it's very well suited to acne prone skin, rosacea prone skin, or eczema prone skin. And probably what niacinamide is best known for in terms of anti-aging is because it can target hyperpigmentation in the skin. It can really help to treat and lighten dark spots in the skin. That's what I have as a result of sun damage over the years and not wearing enough sunscreen in my youth. Definitely wearing sunscreen every day is going to do more for your skin to prevent those spots from ever happening than niacinamide will do trying to repair that damage after it's done. But in addition to its reparative properties, it also has protective properties. So it can protect your skin from oxidative stress from the environment, which will in turn help reduce your fine lines and wrinkles because it's helping to reduce some of that damage that the sun causes in your skin. That is a lot of benefits from just one single ingredient. Almost seems too good to be true, doesn't it? But this is why doctors and dermatologists are often recommending skincare products that contain niacinamide in them especially for those of us who are dealing with aging and inflammatory skin. There are a lot of standalone niacinamide serums and products, as well as cleansers, toners, moisturizers, and sunscreen that contain this ingredient in it. So it can be really hard to kind of fish through and decide what do you need in your skincare routine? And if you already have products that have niacinamide in it, is it enough? As with any other ingredient, some people can be sensitive to this ingredient, so of course if you are, you might be looking for niacinamide-free products. So it's important to always patch test your products just to be sure that they're right for you. I wanted to go over some of my favorite niacinamide skincare products. These are standalone serums that I use in my skincare routine. I often use them in my morning skincare routine paired with vitamin C. There has been a lot of discussion online as to whether niacinamide and vitamin C do go well together and pair effectively 
together. And I think most medical professionals, dermatologists and doctors agree that they actually do bring out the best in each other. So I'm going to talk about five products that I use regularly, starting with this one. It's Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is all over social media. You can see why. It's so cute. It's so pretty. But it really does work really market it as a glow serum because it will deliver that brightness to your skin almost instantaneously. And it's often marketed as a hybrid kind of makeup skincare combination. Glow Recipe says not only can you apply it to your skin as a skincare product, but you could also apply it over makeup to give little highlights on your cheekbones or wherever you might need a little bit of glow. I've tried it both ways. My preference is to use it as a skincare product after cleansing and before my moisturizer. It really has great hydrating ingredients in it that work to plump and hydrate the skin, including glycerin and hyaluronic acid. It also has watermelon extracts, of course niacinamide, or I wouldn't be talking about it, but it does have fragrance for those of you who are irritated by fragranced products. I love the texture. It's gel-like, it applies easily and sinks into the skin beautifully. I haven't had any issues with peeling. I literally just love everything about this serum. Except maybe the price, it's $45 for 40 mils here in Canada, so it's not inexpensive. That being said, I've had this particular one for several months. It's hard to see how full it is because of its opaque packaging, but it does seem to last a long time. Next up is a brand I had never heard about. This is Ustawi. They reached out to me and asked if they could send me this product to try, and I was happy to receive it. I have to say, I've been really loving this one as a niacinamide serum. Ustawi is a skincare brand focused on melanated skin, and its founder, Natasha Pauguam, really wanted to capitalize on her cultural roots in Africa to bring into these formulations. This is their niacinamide dark spot corrector. It leverages niacinamide, of course, but also other ingredients that are really great for skin health, including EGCG, a powerful antioxidant with green tea, as well as fruits that are native to Africa. Oh, and licorice root, another brightening ingredient that just adds to the brightening effects of this serum. This one's a creamy texture. It actually is fragrance-free, applies beautifully to the skin, sinks in no problem. I've had no pilling under makeup. It's $55 for for a 30 mil size. So again, not inexpensive. I'm really liking the user experience and also the way it's formulated and appreciate the ethos behind the brand. Next up, we have Level Serum by Regimen Lab. I've done a full review on Regimen Lab and I'll link that video for you here. This is a Canadian indie skincare brand that I have loved from day one. They've actually recently just changed their packaging to this airless pump style, similar to Drunk Elephant if you're familiar with their products, which is great to keep the formulations fresher, longer, and easy to use. As an aside, I love the color combo of this because when you're like me and need glasses, it can be difficult when all your skincare products look the same and you're struggling to figure out which one's which amongst the sea of products I have in my skincare cupboard. Anyway, Level Serum is an amazing serum if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation. On top of the niacinamide in this formulation, the ingredients in here are really just targeting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, inflammation in the skin, reducing the look of your spot, Spots and firming the skin. It's a true all-in-one serum. It contains 5% niacinamide, 2% alpha arbutin, which is a great skin brightener as well, licorice root extract, and a 3% tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is an ingredient that really helps interfere with the melanin production in the skin, making it a great option for those of you dealing with melasma. It also works to reduce redness and dark spots and just all over increase and improve the look of your skin tone. It's a watery texture, so it applies very easily to the skin and sinks in almost immediately. The cost of this one is $49 Canadian for 30 mils. A cheaper option than the ones I've already reviewed is this one by Reversa. This one's kind of going out to my Canadian followers because this is a Quebec-based company. I actually did a collaboration with them on this product over on Instagram. And this particular niacinamide serum is their balancing fluid. It contains 4% niacinamide, and I should point out that the research has really shown that a 2 to 5% niacinamide is an ideal formulation to really see results. This is really targeted for acne prone skin, and it also contains chlorophyll in the formulation that really works to soothe and act as an antioxidant to help protect the skin. There's also Centella asiatica in here, which is one of my favorite calming and soothing ingredients. There's also hyaluronic acid in this, which gives it great hydrating properties too. This is a creamy green texture because of the botanicals in the formulation. Sinks into the skin beautifully, no pilling under makeup, and the price is better than the other three, coming in at $33 Canadian for 30 mils. Last, but most definitely not least, 
might be my favorite one of the bunch. It's this one. Seriously, is there a product that this brand makes that I don't like? This is Beauty of Joseon's Glow Serum, and this is a niacinamide and propolis mix containing 2% niacinamide and 60% propolis. Propolis is a great addition to your anti-aging skincare routine because it acts as an antioxidant to neutralize free radical damage on the skin. It also has moisturizing capabilities that really help to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. And it has antimicrobial and acne fighting properties, making it just ideal for inflammatory and my rosacea prone skin. This is just a gorgeous serum from its beautiful amber color to its very light gel texture that sinks into the skin effortlessly and then leaves behind this beautiful glow. It's really actually quite similar to the glow recipe in that regard I find for my skin at a quarter of the price. It's $13.89 for 30 mils Canadian. By the way, everything is linked down in the description box below. I would love to know your thoughts on niacinamide in your skincare routines and the products I've reviewed today. Don't forget to subscribe and watch these videos if you're as skincare obsessed as I am. Thanks and have a fabulous day.